Outfit bookie Gregory Poloyan rolled the dice last January and pleaded guilty to running a large-scale sports gambling operation and falsifying his taxes. But then came a bet with far worse odds. Poloyan was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. The jovial and longtime mob bookie whose Facebook photo has him seeing dollar signs had been sentenced to two and a half years behind bars as a result of the plea deal. 66-year-old Poloyan was supposed to report here to the Terre Haute Federal Prison in Indiana on May 20th, but on May 4th, doctors told the court that he'd suffered two seizures. Poloyan's dire diagnosis was a malignant brain tumor, stage four, with a very poor prognosis for surviving more than a couple years. The surrender date was put off by U.S. District Judge Joan Lefko until the government, Poloyan, and his attorney, veteran criminal defense lawyer Ralph Metchik, could work out an arrangement for a nonviolent criminal not to spend his last years of life in prison. Tonight, the I-Team has learned that this request from Poloyan for compassionate relief has been granted, putting off his prison surrender date for one year. It now stands at August 18, 2022. Although Poloyan is now receiving chemotherapy, the odds of long-term survival, even for a lifelong gambler, are not good. According to the description of his condition in newly filed court records and from doctor's statements acknowledged by prosecutors, whether he makes it to that new prison date a year off is not a sure thing, and surviving a 30-month sentence is a long shot. The past year, numerous imprisoned Chicago outfit bosses have asked to be released because they feared getting COVID while locked up. Some achieved their freedom, others are still behind bars. If Greg Ployan makes it to prison, it will be a signal that he somehow survived what is being described as a terminal illness. Chuck Gowdy, ABC7 Eyewitness News.